Hi all, let's look at a quite an interesting game from the Tal Memorial Rapid, which is currently being played. So 2018, Vishy Anand against Hikaru Nakamura. E4 from Vishy, we have E5, Knight F3, Knight C6. Bishop C4, Bishop C5, so we're in, we're in um, Joachim Piano territory. White castles, Knight F6, D3, D6, C3, A6. A4, black castles, h3, bishop a7, pretty standard stuff so far. Knight bd2, h6, rook e1, knight e7, bishop b3, knight g6, d4, rook e8, bishop c2, bishop d7, knight f1. It's all pretty standard trodden territory so far. You can see that both sides are maneuvering their knights quite often to g6 and g3 as, as a common theme c5 now here d takes c5 now this is a bit talesque there is a key tal game in uh steen's uh, simple chess i believe against david bronstein with uh the d5 square trying to be tapped into as a a knight outpost example and here we get a similar kind of thing this there is a potential knight outpost here uh, so let's see b5 a takes, A takes. And maybe, you know, C4 could be desirable for black with, say, Bishop C6 and the knight coming to D3 if black gets any time to do that. We have C4, though, putting the brakes on that and hemming in the bishop. Bishop C6 putting pressure on E4. Yeah, taking on C4 gives white a comfortable looking position. This looks like there's a lot of pressure on on black hair this bishop's hemmed in white's got a small edge there so this looks uh less committal then to play bishop c6 we have c takes b5 though uh bishop takes b5 on bishop takes e4 i think white just gets a small edge again this is a very comfortable position again even if there's a, a, a load of simplification uh, it's yeah, it's going to be nice for white. Uh, so we have bishop takes b5 here, queen takes, rook e takes, and now yes, this this reminds me of a key instructive game in simple chess because now this knight outpost is used, knight d5. Uh, now knight takes d5, e takes, and this pawn's immune. If rook takes, then there's bishop e4. So we have c4, at least opening up the bishop. Bishop d2, bishop d4, and now white takes on a8. And actually weakens e5 now. And with b2 under fire, bishop c3, so there's a lot of pressure on e5. Rook d8. Knight takes e5. Now it seems you might think rook takes d5, and that might be one of the better moves in this position to play rook takes d5. For example, knight takes, there's king f7. And apparently this is only a small edge for white. So this might be the way to go. In the game, actually, we have uh, here, we have bishop takes e5. Now maybe banking on opposite colored bishops to try and secure a draw here. Rook takes e5, rook e8, f4. So be two connected past pawns. Black can't afford to take that. g5. And now actually after g5, white actually does take on e8. And f takes g. And now fixes that pawn on a dark square as a target for this bishop. Nevertheless, these are potential targets for the light square bishop perhaps one day king f7 king f2 bishop a4 king e3 bishop d1 as if saying well if your king moves i'm going to try and get to a3 but the king did move to, there's better gains to be got here bishop f3 taking on c4 king e7 taking on g7 now bishop g2 h4 so this creates a past G pawn. This is perhaps a key move of the game. This past G pawn. Otherwise, these pawns are going to just 
drop basically as, as fixed targets on light squares. So it's kind of rescuing that G pawn. And the small cost is is not such a big deal. The, the pawn could be blockaded. This seemingly dangerous pawn is easily blockaded. Bishop F3. So we've got now multiple passed pawns far apart. This is going to stretch resources being far apart. B4, King G6. And just in time, it seems, D6. This is too much for black. Uh, this position after d6 the game ended here I'll give you an example continuation Bishop g4 to try and stop that pawn King c5 h3 b5 Bishop d7 b6 this is going to be winning I was a king f5 that can be that pawn can be stopped and here anything really b7 is now threatened and you can see that white can just win with d7 to break through with one of the past pawns. So yeah, I'll take you back to where the game ended. It was overload for black in this final position. So quite an interesting uh, game encounter. And this year, at this point of time of uploading this video, is actually leading the uh, tournament. So great credit to Vichy and Ed. Nice win there. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks so much.